All right, guys, if you've been following along, uh, my Vasilika Sika has been popping off. Um, it has some fruit ready to be picked. So in today's video, we're gonna go ahead and do uh, a fig tasting. If this is your first time joining us, I'm Homer from Basement Figs, Elgin Noise Zone 5B. So let's go ahead and pick some of the Vasilika Sikas and uh, let's go try them out with the twins. All right, guys, uh, let's go ahead and harvest some of these Vasilika Sikas. But before we do, the Martineca Ramada is starting to change color. Isn't that beautiful? All right, so Vasilika Sika, let's find some ripe ones, guys. This one's ready. And then this one's ready. That one is ready. That one's not. That one's not. So it looks like we'll have three. Look at all the sugar spots. I think that Borgia Solo grease is ready too. But let's focus on the Vasilika Sika. Let's go ahead and harvest those guys. So let's see if we can yank them off. Actually, I'm just gonna clip them off. I don't wanna damage them. They're kind of soft already. So, sorry I didn't get that on camera, but all I did was clip them off. No sap was flowing, but check these out, guys. Look at all the sh brown sugar spots. We got three of them. All in various ripeness. So, three more fruits from the grow tent, guys. I'm excited. So let's bring this upstairs and let's do a tasting with the twins. So what's your name? Akaka. What's your name? Akani. Say hi to the camera. Hi, Tama. So what are we going to do today? Paint. <laughs> We're not going to paint. We're going to eat some figs. Are you excited? Yeah. If you're excited, say yay. Yay. Ah. How many figs are there? Good job. Okay, so let's do a close-up of the figs on the camera, and then we'll cut them, and then we'll try them. How does that sound? Good. Okay. We're going to cut all three, okay? Okay, ready? Yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six. Whoa! We're gonna cut them all, okay? Before we try them all. Whoa, look at that one. So that one's a little bit more ripe. Ooh, that looks so good, doesn't it? This one looks like the most ripe one. Then goes this one. And this one. How does it taste? It tastes like strawberry. Daddy, grab one. Say cheers. Okay. Mm. I love you, Dad. I love you. I love you too. Mm. You guys are getting more brave and brave, eating more of the fig. That's delicious, right? So good, right? You finish? More? You want more? more. Okay. Dad cut it. Okay. Daddy will cut it. So what is it, what does it taste like? Strawberry gummy bear. Strawberry gummy bear? Gummy dabby bear. Strawberry gummy oh. bear? But yeah, this one's a little bit more ripe. It's a little bit more mushy. But try it. How does it taste? Yeah, it's okay, sweetheart. Yeah, just eat the, the inside. They only like eating the inside. Mm, yummy! Mm. Mm. Is that one good? Mm. Then he's gonna try this one, okay? Mmm! Mm. This one is really good. Sweet, huh? So not a lot of sea crunch. This is 
this Vesalica, guys, is probably the closest to a strawberry, right? Not a lot of other berry flavors. Um, purely strawberry. No, this is uh, the only ones we have right now. We have that. Here, your sugar, sweetheart. There's more outside? There's no more outside. It's too cold. There's more downstairs? There's more downstairs later. There's more downstairs? Yeah, there's more downstairs. Open, please. Yeah. There you go. Ooh, okay. You're welcome. So while they eat the last one, I'll go ahead and eat their leftovers here. So like I was saying, it's strawberry. Mm. Not a lot of sea crunch. What makes the Vesalica really special, it has a, a thicker skin. Mm. It's a good thing. Cheers. Alright guys, thanks for watching the video. This is Basement Figs, Elgin and Noy, and I'm bye Homer, bye. and I'm with my twins. This is Caitlin and Connie. Say bye guys, bye. thanks! Bye. Say we love figs! Now you want ice cream? Yeah. Okay, bye video! Bye video! video. Alright guys, so last night we got a chance to sample the best Likasika with the twins. I came down here to water the plants and um, it looks like the Borgeso uh, grease is ready to be picked. Um, I've never had one before. Um, I'm not even really sure the color, but it's really soft. So I figured I'd turn on the camera, uh, record it. So let's go pick it and see what it's all about. We're gonna go ahead and pick it, try it out. All right guys, as you can see, it is super wrinkled. It actually films really good in the, in the grow tent under the lights. But we're gonna go ahead and open this up. Not very impressive looking. It's actually uh, a lot better when I film it under the grow tent lights. I mean, it is a success that we got it to ripen. We got this tree uh, roughly probably early summer, late spring. So it finally uh, produced some fruit for us. Again, this is my first one I'm tasting. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, give it a try here. It's, oh, wow. For the amount of bread that was in there, that was pretty darn good. Very, kind of like a cross between a Smith and like an Italian 258. There's a berry in it, like the strawberry flavor, but with a little bit more complexity. I just actually uh, texted um, Alejandro, and I was like, um, is this supposed to look like this? But, you know, it is a first a year tree, so can't complain. Intense berry. This one's gonna have uh, this. This fruit's gonna be really good. I can tell.
Another new fig I tried. So, all right guys, I appreciate you joining me today. Again, Homer from Basement Figs, Elgin and Noah, Zone 5B, and I'll catch you guys on the next video. Peace.